Hello, I'm glad you joined me for this interconnection yoga class today. I invite you to use this practice for yourself as a time to dive deeper, open up, and become vulnerable. Relax into these stretches with the soft background music I've provided, or choose some of your own. We hold each posture for 30 seconds or longer, so I'll let you know when it's time to switch. Now, shift your awareness to the breath and settle in on the belly, resting your forehead on the forearms. Spine becomes long. Raising the chest, slide the forearms underneath the shoulders, pressing through the palms, lifting the heart, Sphinx Pose. Lower the chest down, extend the left arm and kick the right leg over, lying on the left side of the body.
Exhale to slowly roll onto the belly and lovingly, carefully switch sides. Settling in to open up the other shoulder. When you're ready, roll back onto the belly, take the hands under the shoulders and press up to tabletop. Taking a few rounds of intentional, slow cat-cow. Really noticing how it feels to forward and backward bend. Allowing the body to open up and release physical tension, mental resistance. Meeting back in neutral spine. Carefully step the right foot up towards the hands and make your way into a low lunge. Sliding the left leg back, right hands can rest on the knee. Using your breath to open through the hips. Plant the right fingertips down and reach the left arm overhead. Big side body stretch. We can always come up onto a block if we need a little bit more space. back through your low lunge and take hands to heart center. Exhale to take a twist, placing the elbow on the outside of the knee. Pressing the hands together, helping to twist and detoxify.
exhale, back through center. One more breath, reach the arms up, exhale, sink, rain the fingertips down. Stepping the knee back to meet the left and coming into a wide child's pose. Use your breath to help you surrender, to hold space for yourself and release whatever needs to come up for you. Gently lifting out of child and coming back to tabletop before stepping the left foot up into your low lunge. Making sure we're fully comfortable here. Maybe closing the eyes helping yourself to tune in to the body. On your next breath, drop the left fingertips as the right arm stretches overhead. back through our low lunge, taking hands to heart center, finding one breath to reset, and exhale to twist to the left. Taking your last breath in this twist before coming through your low lunge. Exhale, drop the hands and step the left knee back towards the right, tucking the toes and coming to sit back on the heels. 
already feeling this nice stretch in the bottom of the feet, our foundation. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale and exhale. Take the arms in front of the chest, finding eagle arms. Pressing the back towards the back of the room, tucking the chin into the chest, opening between the scapula. Breathing nice and even. On your next exhale, gently unravel the arms and prepare to switch sides. Trying to meet palms together as you send the hands up towards the sky. Taking one final big breath before releasing and coming down onto the sit bones into bound angle, sending the soles of the feet together and the knees down into the mat. Rolling the shoulders back, beautiful long spine. Breathing into the space of the inner groins, the pelvic floor. Taking our final breath here before swinging our right leg behind and making our way into deer pose. Making sure to make adjustments so that we're fully comfortable. Moving the angles of the feet closer or further away. Really trying to press the pelvis down into the mat, but making sure to find what feels good to you here. Keeping the left knee bent, extend the right leg, come into a half side straddle pose, reaching for the flexed foot, keeping the chest lifted open to the front of the room, finding space between the shoulders and the ears. On your next inhale, reach the chest back up through neutral spine before turning onto the left knee and coming into pigeon pose.
keeping the chest lifted or walking the elbows or hands out in front. Letting your breath anchor you to this present moment with yourself on the mat. Finding gratitude for this practice. This practice that helps us cultivate this mind-body connection where we can hold this true safe space for ourselves. We can be whatever we want to be authentically. Taking a few more breaths, seeing if you can release a little bit more. And when you're ready, you can gently lift the chest and sweep the right leg around, coming into staff pose flexing the feet, sending energy out through the heels from this long line of the legs, finding length in the spine before using our exhales to fold over, letting our hands slowly slide down the legs, honoring our body and its limits, bending the knees slightly if we need to. Taking one big full body breath. And then lifting the chest, coming back through staff pose to gently swing the left leg behind into deer. Finding what feels comfortable on this side. Taking your time to settle in. Noticing any sensations going on in the body. Maybe noticing a change in our perspective or our mindset. Finding your last natural breath before extending the left leg, coming into our side straddle. Reaching down for the left foot. Lift the chest, 
and exhale, gently flip over, coming into half pigeon. taking a moment to surrender, enjoying these last few minutes of our practice together. Letting go of other responsibilities, being in the here and the now. Taking a slight body scan, notice any areas we may still be holding tension. And for our next few breaths, consciously release. When you're ready, we can gently come out, coming back around to staff pose, this time at the back of the mat, placing the hands behind the bum and opening through the chest, pressing away from the mat, gazing wherever feels comfortable, slightly up at the ceiling, or maybe we'd like to drop our head back. Gently lifting the head, planting the left foot and crossing the right ankle over the knee. Pressing the chest as close to the legs to feel a nice deep stretch in the glute. When you're ready, you can gently release and switch sides. Using awareness of the breath to help you empty the mind. Clearing everything out. Taking one final breath and on your exhale uncross the legs and melt down into your final resting pose.
taking a moment to survey your body, adjusting it to make it as comfortable as possible. Making any small movements. On this next exhale, feel all of your limbs and muscles become heavy as they drag down through the earth. Turning your attention to your breath, inhale through your nose and become aware of the breath as it fills your lungs. Your abdomen rises and as you exhale, your abdomen falls, becoming aware of the breath moving out of your nostrils. Allow this rhythmic nature of your breath to take over as each inhalation and exhalation flow effortlessly. Using the rest of this class to anchor back into the breath, to allow yourself to be still and silent. We can stay in this restful position as long as we need, but this is where I leave you today, my friend. Thank you for allowing me to guide you in this sweet self-care yoga practice. I look forward to meeting you again soon.